The next important area is appraisal of overseas investment. Appraisals of overseas investment. We all know that to appraise any investment, there will be the need for us to think of which method of appraisal we should use. There are so many methods, payback period, accounting rate of return, NPV, internal rate of return, modified internal rate of return, adjusted present value. Probably you can even think of profitability index. Therefore, your first responsibility for appraising the investment is to know which method is supposed to be used according to the question. The normal one that is being asked in P4 is in relation to NPV. So let's see how you will calculate the NPV. Let's see how you will calculate the NPV. To calculate NPV, you need basic three things. You need number of years, relevant cash flows, and an appropriate cost of capital that is consistent with the risk that goes with the investment, just as we've um, done on the cost of capital. So if it is international investment appraisals, for instance, I am based in UK and I want to do the investment in US. If I would have to do the investment in US, I would have to generate all my cash flows in terms of dollars. So I would have to know the number of years the project is going to operate. Then we have to identify the relevant cash flows, the relevant cash flows in dollars. You shouldn't forget that the relevant cash flows, you have to take care of nominal and real situations where there are inflation. Then when you get your cash flows, you need to think of what? Tax. You would have to pay, pay tax in U.S. So if, say, U.S. tax rate is 20%, then you apply the 20% on the taxable profit, having considered movement in capital allowance you should be able to claim capital allowance on the asset in U.S. You should be able to get capital allowance on the asset in U.S. If you get the capital allowance and you get a tax savings on capital allowance, you think of your um, initial investment and working capital requirement. If you get the net cash flows in dollars, there will be the need for you to bring the net cash flows in terms of pounds. Therefore, there will be the need for you to calculate the exchange rate. And the exchange rate, you can use what is called the purchase power parity or interest rate or international Fisher effect. And according to purchase power parity, for instance, the exchange rate at the point T is calculated as the exchange rate now multiplied by 1 plus inflation 1 divided by 1 plus inflation 2. Inflation 1 is the inflation of the currency that you are putting in there. So if I'm putting dollar here, then I will need the U.S. inflation up, and I'll use the U.K. inflation down. Then when I determine the exchange rate, I convert the dollar net cash flows into pound sterling, and that is what is called the remitted cash flows. Having got the remitted cash flows, then I would have to deal with double taxation. Is there any double taxation agreement between the UK and US? If there's double taxation agreement, I would have to pay the highest rate. So if I've paid 20% in US and there is UK tax of 30%, there should be additional tax of 10% to be paid. You sort the double taxation and as usual, you determine the appropriate cost of capital that is consistent with the risk that goes with the investment. And then you discount it and you get your MPV. If MPV is positive, you go ahead. If the MPV is negative, then you reject it. Okay. So this is how you will be able to do international or overseas investment appraisals.